Hi, I'm Nicole, our education manager, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a chip and dip bowl on the wheel. Um, you can look at our other past videos for tips on centering, coning, things like that. But so far, we've already centered our clay, um, so we're pretty much ready to go for the rest of the process. Um, so for a chip and dip bowl, it's, we're using the same chunk of clay, but it's very much we're separating into a plate and a bowl. Um, so you should take your mound of clay and about halfway around, you're just gonna take your finger and start to press down on your clay. So I'm separating these two. So um, I definitely suggest making sure that it's nice and watered, that it's definitely not getting tacky and stuck so that it stays centered. But I'm pretty much gonna push that chunk down. Um, and now I can go in, clean it up, you know, make sure that this part that's gonna be my bowl is, um, is still centered. I can kind of flatten out this plate part, make sure it's even on the sides, and then I'm ready to go. Um, so I'm gonna ignore the plate part at the beginning and just go for the bowl. And pretty much this is gonna be like throwing a regular bowl. So I will open it in the middle And you want to make sure that you leave a good amount at the bottom. And then I'll open the middle like a bowl, so I want it to be rounded on the inside. So now I can kind of make this however big I want this bowl. I've got a lot of clay, so I can definitely make this um, a good sized bowl. But you could also just leave it like this if you're wanting something a little smaller, more of a small snack or a dish um, but pretty much depending on how much clay you can use and how much you separate for the bowl and the plate you have got room to make this whatever size you want so again i am working just on the bowl and i have not touched my plate part so i'm going to go in and shape this however i want that's probably a good size. I'll do one more pull, call it a day. So you can even go in and shape your bowl, either, you know, have it more of a cone. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. And so to expand my plate now, you can get uh, either a rib or you can continue to use your finger, um, but I'll probably just take it in right here and start pressing down. So give it a little bit more of a flatter shape, spread it out more, and then these ends, the end of my plate, I'm gonna pull to give it a lip. So I'll just really dig in there to lift that clay up, and then I can do kind of a miniature pull to give it a wider rim. So then you have room here. If you want to leave it as a wider rim, you can do that. If you're wanting to um, cut further into your plate, you could have it be more of like a dish that extends out up to you. So there's definitely some style preferences here. Um, but yeah, that is how you make a chip and dip bowl. So you're pretty much using the same piece of clay you separate it in half at the beginning and then you work on them individually.